Read below for steps on how to plot and measure courses. Start by selecting two points. These could be your departure point and the destination or any two navigational checkpoints along the planned route. Place the plotter on the chart and position the straight edge of the plotter so that it connects with the two points you are measuring between the lines. The line between where these two points represents the course you want to fly. Align the center hole or marked center points of the plotter on one or two points, usually the departure point. Rotate the plotter so that the north line, usually running through zero or 360 and the 180 on the azimuth scales aligns with the meridian, the north-south grid line on the chart. This ensures that your reading is relative to true north. Read the course bearing at the point where the course line intersects the azimuth scale on the plotter. This is the true course in degrees from your starting point. Adjust for magnetic variation. Apply the magnetic variation shown on the chart as isogonic lines. If the variation is west, subtract it from your true course. If the variation is east, add it to your true course. We'll cover this in greater detail as we actually plan a flight. If you're ready to get serious about learning how to fly helicopters, head over to 3gheliprep.com. It's like these videos, but way more structured and a lot closer to making you a real pilot. You won't regret it, unless you hate helicopters, in which case I'm not sure why you're even still watching this.